Grace Stewart Ninsima. Uh, yes, uh, she, she's a very beautiful young girl and uh, she's an activist of climate change. Yeah, she believes uh, we can save the earth. Uh, she believes we can create a beautiful atmosphere uh, for the children who are yet to be the leaders of tomorrow. Uh, so she has very beautiful and very wonderful ideas. Uh, so please just allow me, of course, uh, allow us welcome her in. Yes, uh, Grace. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. You're fine? Yes. Yeah, you look fine. Thank you. You're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So, Grace, when I was uh, reading about her, uh, when I was getting your profile, your other name is Little Earth Soldier. And I, ju I just kept wondering what is Little Earth Soldier? What is it all about? What do you do? And why that name? Well, I'm a climate change activist. And the reason as to why I chose the name Mm. It's because if I'm to save the earth, I cannot do it alone. But if I gather another group of children, it would be better together. Yeah. Yes. So it means an army of a young generation that protects the earth. So oh. you believe in teamwork? A yes. teamwork. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. A thumbs up for Grace. On the television, I'm just seeing your video when you're with the rest of other children. Uh, what were you teaching them? I was teaching them about climate change. About climate change? Yes. What's so special about climate change? Well, climate change is not actually good news oh. for me right now. Mm. Climate change means that our earth is being heated up. Oh, I see. It is unfortunate that children are the least responsible for climate change. Mm. Yet us children will bear the greatest burden of it. What I mean is that we are not the ones who cause deforestation mm. or even industrialization, but we will be the ones to bear the pain of its impact. You'll find that at least the other generations, such as the St. John's, the Millennials and the Baby Boomers, had hope for their tomorrow. But us in the Alpha and the Generation Better, we might not even have any hope for tomorrow. Mm. Because something called global warming is taking place. This is when the Earth gets hotter and hotter. It starts from no more to warm, to warm, to warm, to unbearable. How do you feel when someone gets a duvet and covers you? You will feel uh, okay. But when he gets too five beds, five more duvets, those are six, and covers them on top of your head, you might even suffocate. Yeah, that's true. So that's how the earth exactly flows. There is a layer called the greenhouse gases, and these greenhouse gases keep getting thicker and thicker. The biggest contributor to global warming is industrialization. You'll know that Africa contributes only 3%, one entire continent. Yet, yet China contributes 30% of the carbon emission. Just imagine one country emitting all that and one continent emitting only 3%. Yet us Africans are being the ones who are getting affected the most. So that is not fair at all and it doesn't make sense to me. We really need climate justice and climate justice is really important because you'll find that soon you won't even be on this earth. It is the only planet that we have that supports life. Others just dry, cold, hot. So if it's the only one and that God blessed us with, why do we have to destroy it? That means you'll have nowhere to be. Mm. Yes. Wow. Grace. <laughs> it's a very beautiful campaign mm. and uh, we are joining you we are 100% with you of fighting for the environment what is your special advice to all Ugandans during a time when we are so much affected by the pandemic of uh, COVID-19 well the call to action will be that we look for hope yes okay. we look for hope but how can we have hope yet action isn't taken. So there is no way that you can have hope, yet you don't take action. Because if you don't take action, that means you will die in your hope. Okay. So if you want hope, you need to take action. 
okay. fight the environment. How you can do this is by planting trees. Use renewable energy such as wind turbine, solar energy and briquettes and even and even reduce using those things that need to burn fossil fuel such as cars, factories and turn off the lights when not in use. Okay. Wow, that's beautiful. Uh, just one more, Grace. Who inspires you? I have many people who inspired me. I have Vanessa Nakate okay. and even Greta Thunberg. Okay. Yes. They inspire you. Yes. What exactly do you look at in them uh, that really inspires you? What I look at in them is that the, they're just like me. They fight for the earth and I think that's a great idea that everyone would take. So what I like mostly about them is that they save the environment. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Nisima. Yes. Which school do you go to? Kano Homeschool. Oh. Homeschooling. <laughs> we do that training from home. Hey. <laughs> Grace Stewart, Nisima. Yes. Oh my God, you speak like a white yet you're Nisima. How do you do it? <laughs> well, there is something called phonics and just need to pronounce the sounds the way they are. Okay, then the accent comes. Yes. Oh my God, that's good. Who teaches you that? My mom. Your mom? Yes, my mom and the sister. If I'm to say it, it's my parents. It's your parents who teach you. Wow, Grace, your accent is just perfect. Uh, yes, uh, Grace, why are you contesting for a little Miss Uganda? I believe that it will give me a platform to reach out to as many children out there so that I can teach them what I know about climate change. So that you can teach them what you know about climate change. Uh, that is so beautiful. I just saw the theme of uh, Little Miss Uganda uh, this year and the theme was proud to be a Ugandan. Are you proud to be a Ugandan? Yes, I am. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, something else, apart from issues to do with the climate, what else can you teach Ugandans? I can teach about space science. Space, space science? science? Yes. Uh, what mm -hmm. is that? Well, I can say things to do with space. Oh. Like robots, rockets. Yes. This uncle here travels most of the time. He moves to America and other parts of the world. But I don't know if he really knows uh, what uh, really happens in a jet before it flies. Uh, can you teach us that? Yes, I can. Oh, please go on. So I will start with the parts of an airplane. Okay. We have the cockpit and in this cockpit, we find the yoke, the rudder pedals, the navigational display panels and the and other things. So I'll start with the yoke. The yoke works hand in hand with a stabilizer called the elevator. This yoke is pulled to your to yourself and then it will make the, the nose of the aircraft look up. But how it does that is that when you pull the yoke to the yourself, the elevators will face up, causing the air, the aircraft's nose to also pitch. Wow. Cockpit is where the captain and the co-pilot sit. Oh. Yes. I see. So I'm talking about the parts that are in the cockpit. Mm. Oh. Then we have the rudder pedals. These are used for yawing. So when you step the left rudder pedal, the rudder will yaw to the left, causing the aircraft to yaw to the left, and vice versa. Then we have the navigational display panel. This show you where you are, how far you are, the fuel that is left in the aircraft, and the speed you're moving at. Wow. Then we have the biggest part called the fuselage. This is where everything is found. It's, it's what attaches the wing the slats, the cockpit, and the stabilizers. The wings are what help in gliding. And gliding is just like how you can fly through the air without flapping your wings. Just like how a bird do, does it. You'll find that it flaps its wings to fly. But at some point, it will let them go free. Gliding is used whereby the turbine engines or even the propeller is not working well. Then the the at least the the wings will help you glide 
where they fix the aircraft. Yes. Hello. Yes, hello. Active. Good morning. Yes, good morning. It's nice to see that young girl just like, she's like a professor. Eh? <laughs> she's like a professor. <laughs> Younger professor. So we call her baby professor. Oh, baby professor. <laughs> yeah, it's, she's not a baby in fact, but it, according to what she's telling us, mm. she's advancing to uh, PhD holder, you see. Wow. You know, mm. when she talked about environment, mm. and uh, we just had world leaders meeting in one of the European countries or whatever, mm. discussing about the environment. Mm. I think Uganda should send such a little girl like this to go and just amaze the world leaders. Having a Ugandan girl who cares about the environment. Yeah. But when she talked about emissions, you know, emissions are not from individuals. These are from governments who bring in old cars, who allow very, very old cars to be imported. The factories, like in Kampala here, we have factories. Mixed up with residentials, you see? Mm. Like, I, I'm not uh, choosing those uh, investors for putting their factories, but it was the government who had to plan for them to take factories away from residentials so that we don't breathe in these emissions which comes from the factories, from the old vehicles, old trucks. But I would request to request a friend, like, I mean, it ministers to at least show this girl to the world and we sponsor her to go and start campaigning for saving the environment, like cutting forests. Yes. This is the most disturbing challenge. It's yes. not even a challenge. But now, let me tell you what we misinterpret by challenge. A challenge is mostly by natural calamities, which man cannot avoid. But once we cut forests down, that's not a challenge. We are just a great day to sell logs to other countries to burn charcoal. But uh, please, I liked this girl's lecture this morning. Yeah. Please let let us support her. Look for these young girls mm. who can save for their future. Because for us, we are going. <laughs> yeah, this, that's true. Let these young girls come be sponsored to go and save their future okay. with our help. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Musei Kamiya. Grace, just give us your final word uh, to the people. What mm. do you have to tell people uh, before we get out of studio? I would like to tell people that they they should just believe in themselves and have hope that mm. there is a tomorrow and should save the environment so that they can live. Can you can you sing? Yes. Uh, can you sing for us a song before we get off on air? Yes. Okay. Hey, they thought you didn't know Luganda. Hey. <laughs> Remove the headsets and stand up and Ken Makedo will give you a, a song. Yeah. Uh, let, uh, let the world know how talented you are mm. and that you really deserve Actually, to become the little Miss Uganda. Yeah.
Endless faithfulness 